With the continuous blockage of the Benin Supply Road bypass by protesters, residents of the state are calling on the federal and state governments to act fast as they say that the action of the protesters is now taking its toll on travelers and residents of the state. The stranded travelers and commuters are appealing to relevant authorities to come and address the protesters who have blocked the highway for two days in protest against the deplorable condition of roads in the area. The government needs to do something about it because it's not really easy. Seeing people carrying load, walking down this way, those going to other states, imagine the, the situation they will find themselves. I mean, I'm, I'm going to Dogo, so I have to check this distance. This road that you're seeing right now, revenues are being generated from this road on a daily basis from the same uh, uh, road users. The same road that uh, revenue are being generated on a daily basis how uh, is it is unfair and is unwise for the same road to be passable by the same users? As you can see, we are in a total mess. The whole road is, is in a bastard. It seems as if we do not have a government in this country. And we have a governor who is the chief executive officer of the state, whose responsibility is supposed to provide for the welfare of the citizen in this state. We have a House of Rep member representing this constituency. We have a senator representing this con uh, constituency. And we have Ministry of Works. I'm appealing Mr. Buhari, our, our president. I am the candidate of APC uh, in Edo State, the central candidate of APC in Edo State. That I'm appealing that you should come and listen and hear the plight and the cry of our people. I'm also appealing to the state governor, Mr. Obaseki. You have, you have come before and you give them a palliative measure. What they are saying is that they don't need a palliative measure. They need a concrete work to be done. 